ISO 9001-2015 in a nutshell. How it works and how it can work for you. For those planning to adapt the new ISO 9001, here's a map of the new quality management system. You probably may think that the new quality management system model is complex or too simplified for your organization. Regardless of your perspective, let us break this down for you. First, the new ISO 9001 contains 10 clauses. These are the scope, normative references, terms and definition, context of the organization, leadership, planning, support, operation, performance evaluation, and improvement. Let's bring back the ISO 9001-2015 model again. Clause 1, 2, and 3 are nowhere to be found in this model. This means that the requirements are all contained from Clause 4 up to Clause 10. These clauses form part of the nuts and bolts of the quality management system. Remove any one of these critical parts and the system will break down. Each one of these clauses should function with one another within a plan, do, check, act cycle. Look at this cycle as the engine of every business organization. This is the engine designed to consistently produce quality results. Now for purposes of discussion, let us remove this quality management system engine in the picture. If we do that, what we have left are just the customer requirements on the left side of the model and customer satisfaction on the right side of this management model. Every company's goal is to first understand the requirements of the customer on the left side, and the left side is where it all begins. After we understand the customer requirements and the context of our organization, we should come up with a plan on how to meet or exceed these requirements to achieve customer satisfaction or quality results, which are on the other side of the model. The left side tells us what the requirements are, and the right side shows us the desired end results. Now, the only way for us to bridge the wide gap between customer requirements and customer satisfaction is a robust and reliable system that should be established right in the middle of this canvas. This is where the quality management system comes in place. The only way for you to ensure consistent quality results is by establishing this quality management system in the middle of your business operations. As already mentioned under Clause 4, we need to define the context of our organization, capture the requirements of the customers, including the needs and expectations of relevant interested parties. This is the starting point of every business. There is greater emphasis in leadership in this new edition. Unlike in the old ISO 9001, where leadership is delegated upon the quality management representative, the new ISO 9001's emphasis is on the importance of leadership and commitment. The leaders of the business organization in all levels should communicate the importance of meeting the expectations of the clients at all time. Customer focus is the name of the game. This is where a quality policy is established and communicated, and organizational rules, responsibilities, and authorities is also defined. The question is, are you really leading? Plus 6 will guide us on how to effectively plan our actions to address risk and opportunities. This, by the way, is one of the highlights of the new ISO 9001. Quality objectives should also be defined and most importantly, come up with a clear-cut plan on how to achieve them. Changes in these objectives and actions should also be carefully included in the planning. Regardless of business size, without adequate support, the business will fail. ISO 9001 defines the following as critical support. These are resources, competence, awareness, communication, and documented information. Resources include competent and motivated people, adequate infrastructure, and a work environment for the efficient operation of the processes. The use of resources will also be monitored and measured. Part of support is a documented information which is composed of quality manual, procedures, work instructions, and records. In layman's term, operation is all about getting things done. This is where you actually produce the product or deliver the service. Considered as one of the most challenging parts in every business organization, 
This is the part where you have to constantly keep your eyes open. Most of the management controls are also established in operation. After all, the quality of the results will depend on the quality of controls. Clause 8 will guide us on how to plan and control operations, capture customer requirements accurately, design and develop products and services, control outsourced processes, and manage post-delivery activities. At the end of the day, the most important thing to know is whether or not we have met the expectations and requirements of our customers. This is where we check on our performance through monitoring, measurement, analysis, and evaluation using our key performance indicators. By conducting regular internal audits, we can gather data for management to review what parts of the business organizations need to change and improve. The American quality guru, W. Edwards Deming, precisely put it when he said that without data, you're just another person with an opinion. The effectiveness of performance evaluation then depend entirely on the accuracy of data and its analysis. And finally, the time to act closes the PDCA cycle. Improvements get done when we act on non-conformities and corrective action. This is how we truly achieve continual improvement. So there you go. This is ISO 9001-2015 in a nutshell and how it all works within the plan, do, check, act cycle. Our best advice, if you want consistency and quality in your products and services, complete the PDCA cycle and get ISO certified. This has been another presentation of AGF Consulting Group. For more information on how to bring your business to the next level, visit our website and download free resources at www.agfconsultinggroup.com.